we all have used multiple visuals in power bi as we all are aware that we have default visuals and we have custom visuals as well now when i am specifically talking about the default visuals there are a lot of default visuals that Power BI gives us as soon as we install it in our uh, systems. The point is, out of all these, in any organization we are working in, KPI plays a very important role. So now, we have multiple KPI visuals in our uh, Power BI visualizations pane. But have you ever experienced or have you ever worked on how we can use the KPI in flipping way? I mean, how can we flip and have the multiple information in KPI visual? If not, then let's learn. Hi, I'm M. Asif Hussain from Know How Academy. What are we going to learn in this video? We are going to learn and understand how to use KPI visual using I mean, in a flip in Power BI. So by the end of this video, you could able to create and you could able to work on KPI visual by using it in a flip way in power bi desktop so watch till the end my dear viewers okay we when we are working in any organization we generally have an id card am i right we generally have an id card so the point here is that when we have an id card did you ever uh, try it or did you ever get an idea that how can i go and create that kind of card in my power bi desktop so let me show you it here in this power bi desktop I have one data set. In this data set, if you see, let me go and select a new card chart. As we all are aware that a new card chart, more than one information, we can input it here. So in this new card chart, what I'm trying to do, okay, I'll just go and select one data field section here. So I'm adding a data field. Let's consider the customer name we are getting the first customer name okay you just uh, don't consider the word first here just a customer name okay what if the case if i would like to have some uh, specific customer details so for example if we go here and let us take any uh, one person name or okay let us consider the id uh, any id that's up to us you know cb12025 so if i would like to search some person with the ids then how should i do that so as we know that CB12025, so for this what I'm trying to do is that I'm going and adding one chart which is called as, which is called as text slicer. So now what I'm, I have done, I have taken my you know, text slicer, okay. So in this text slicer, let me go and add the data. Let me add the data as customer ID here, okay. So let me go and search that customer ID. So CB12025. So if I search this one, we will get the name. Okay, we have got some name here. Now the point is that I have to make it in a very proper way. Now what I'm going to do for this, everything works upon on a formatting right away. So in this particular visual, if I come to the formatting, under formatting, we have something called as callout value. Okay. So this one, let me go and align it in the center. Okay, let me align it in the center. The name of this is very big. So let me make it to as much as less possible. Okay, as per our convenience, how we would like to see it in a very clear way. So that we can consider it here. Okay, so now what I'm doing, I'm just changing the style here to UI bold so that it looks much more attractive. Okay, so I have done this one. Now what I'll do, I will come to the layout. Okay, so in this layout, I will just keep it on a top. Okay, so it depends upon the requirement as well again here. So after we complete this one, I would like to add one image for this customer. Okay, I would like to add an image for this. So we can choose any image. So let us consider that I'm going to add one image. Okay, so in this one, let's consider for this customer, I would like to add an image. Okay, so image, there are two types that we can write it here. One, we can paste the image or browse the image that we have downloaded it in our computer or we can paste the image URL. So what I'm going to do, I'm just using the image and I will browse the image. So let me consider that I'm using one image here. Let me consider my image. Okay, as we can see that it's not in a very appropriate way. So let me go and assign it. So what I'm going to do, I will just paste it above the text, okay? And I will align it in the center. 
as we can see we have got it align it all right now what we are going to do okay so now what we are going to do the size that we have it here the pixels so let us i will i want to make it a little bit shorter so let me uh, let me consider some 150 pixels okay so this is what i would like to have it here i'll close it now i'll come to the next possible option which is again the call out value okay so if we see the label i will just switch off the label the first customer name the label that was there which is gone now so the label is gone now what i am going to do as we have seen that we have got it the layout okay if i would like to add some other information after the name of the customer so what i have to do i have to go and uh, choose something called as a reference labels so under this reference label if i would like to see let me first go and select the name okay so under this name i would like to add rest of the information okay so what is this person's customer id okay uh, from which particular uh, uh, city this particular person is from or uh, what is this person's region okay so only this information i would like to showcase so i have added those informations here okay so now what i am going to do i'll come here under the layout okay so we can see that the layout is not there that's why uh, as i have selected the particular name here which is first customer and that's why with the layout is not visible but why i would like to use layout the reason is that as we can see that the customer id and the id numbers are very clumsy or they are attached i would like to make it in a very free way so for this what i am doing here i'll just go and uh, here i'm going to select the series as all now the layout has come okay so the layout what i am doing it here is that in this layout so what i'm doing is that i'll make it in a tabular way okay i will make it in a tabular way and i will align it somewhere in the center or it's up to us however we would like to give it it's up to us the spacing if you would like to talk about so we have something called as spacing okay the spacing between the labels so that we should focus upon let us consider i would like to make the spacing as 22 okay it must be less than 20 okay let me take 20 itself and the same outer spacing also let me make it 20 itself so that i would like to have everything in a very clear way as you can see that the labeling the gap has been increased right away all right so this is done okay this is done i have completed my layout as well and i have completed my spacing as well which is under my particular reference label okay so now what i'm going to do is that i'm coming to cards here so under the cards we have something called as a padding okay so this i would like to make it custom okay so now what i'm going to do uh, because the size is very much broader way i would like to just make it in a very more easy way so for this what i'm going to do is that uh, let me consider it as 65 in this side and uh, 65 in this side as well so now we can see that it is very you know it has come little bit uh, easier way okay some aligned way like this okay so the name is hidden now again this is the task okay the name is hidden now so for this again i'll come to the call out value i'll go to the values i'll make sure the, it is the value size is reduced so that i can easily see the size of my name here okay so we have got the name let me make it 20 21 22 okay 22 is bigger 21 is a maximum okay that's fine I have done it here okay call out value is done so now I'll come back to my reference label and and the series if I select all okay we have something called as value okay so value again I'll make sure that I'll choose something called as bold so that it looks much more easier okay so now again what I'll do I'll come to something called as spacing that we have it so so spacing that I have already given okay and now if you see here okay so for the first customers that we have it you know we have given the spacing value like this and the same way if i would like to remove the divider okay if i would like to remove the divider i can remove the divider like this so that i can easily get what is the first customer names or the customer id customer city and region and those particular informations here or if you would like to add the divider we can add it it's up to us if you would like to make sure that these two are different yes i can go and give it that's not a problem all right so my dear viewers now what is the interesting thing i have done everything as much as required the second thing that i would like to go and do is that i would like to add some another data so let me consider that i have created one small measure which is of no use let us consider a dummy measure where the value will be only one 
the reason is that i would like to you know make it in a, a different uh, uh, view i mean this is the front view and i would like to show the back view the flip of this particular kpi visual so for this what i'm going to do is that as we can see that we have got one here right we have got one so again i'll come here i'll come to the layout as we can see that it is in a card and it is in a single row so this is all it's fine but how many cards we can see that maximum cards shown that we have to reduce it to one then what happens is that it will slide up here okay one but this is not the point we have to flip it okay i am scrolling it here but i have to flip it so for this what i have to do is that i'll come here to the padding okay i'll come here to the padding or if you would like to even go in the layout itself we have something called as overflow okay we have something called as overflow so this is the overflow it is a scroll as you can see that it is a continuous scroll so for this what i'm going to do is that i'm going to make it paginated when i make it paginated as you can see that this is the flipped one okay when i make it paginated what you can see is that this is the flipped one okay so in this when i have flipped okay so what i am going to do is that again i'll come back to my reference label okay so under this reference label i would like to go and add the another informations okay in the back end so let us consider that this person is belonging from which particular state okay how much sales he has done how much uh, profit he has done how much quantity he has purchased so these informations i would like to show that's where we have got it here so again if i come to this particular uh, uh, reference label if i would like to remove the divider okay we can off the divider so the, the divider is off but the value also i would like to you know if you want you can just make it smaller depending upon your particular requirement so i have completed the detail so what i am going to do is that i'll come here to the cards and under the cards the padding if you see okay i have made 65 65 here and uh, as it is you know upside down so that i would like to make it to 80 here i would like to make 80 here so now it is looking somewhere aligning exactly in the center okay so we have something called as one okay which is you know visible that we have to hide it okay that we have to hide it all right so we have hidden this one okay so this is a simple information that i have shown it to you here so like this we can go and add the interesting point so we can see that somewhere we have done a small mistake that's why again it has come back so let let us go and change this one okay i'll go here i'll go to first customer okay i'll just switch on the value okay so the first customer name and as you know i think we have made it much more clumsier no that even might be the point that it hasn't come okay we'll come here see the first customer name if we show the padding you now it's 80 okay let me pick 5 so see this we have got it okay we might have no not selected everything properly so we'll make 15 here as well okay so we can see the difference now we can display the name okay so the name again if i just reduce it so that uh, now i can see the name like this okay so in the same way what you can do is that you can even also go and reduce the, the size of it say this a very interesting thing so if you want to see back side of it i'll just click on this arrow mark here and i can see the back side of it okay so we have got again the label here right so call out value so for the dummy if i would like to off this one okay i can go and off so this is how we can use the kpi visual you know where we can even flip the kpi chart as well so my dear viewers in this video we have learned how to use the kpi chart using in a flip way in power bi thank you for choosing nahab academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning